Um, and then I'll say, wow, that's pretty cool on the TV there. Right. But the, uh, the, the sign we want to have in the front yard is the Monty Smart Security sign. And, and you can see it has the name, the website, and the number on here. Um, the reason being, I might ask them, I'll be like, do you know why we might want to have the sign in the front yard? Why do you think? So that you can advertise. It's a, wow, thank you so much. Most people, they're like, oh, I don't know. It's because it's a good, it's a good deterrent. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's definitely one of the main reasons because this would be a good deterrent for you if someone tried to break in the house. Because people know who Monty is. This is, a, this is a company that's you know innovative. They're on the forefront of technology. You know, and they have a lot of credentials, right. so they know that you're going to be protected by a great company. Yeah. But yeah, our company, we want to use this for advertising because I'm not saying I'm going to name drop your name, but I might use your house to say, hey, look, you've seen the sign over there in this guy's front yard, right? And this sign, and this sign, and this sign. This is my first time seeing one. Yeah. Oh, really? You do this for you too? Yes. Yeah, so, and then if someone says that, then I'm going to go in and start building massive value with the company. And I'm going to explain to them things like, listen, Monty is 25 years old. Okay. ADS was birthed in 2009 after they came back from war. And um, Monty, by sales volume, is number two to guess who? ADT. ADT. Number one, 140 years. Okay. Which doesn't mean that they're necessarily better. It's just they've been around longer. Right. So they're the most, and they're actually in different countries, a lot of different countries. I was over in... Uh, London, England, and I'm like, there's ADT. Um, Amsterdam, there's ADT. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. So, money um, is in the United States, Canada, and Puerto Rico. To my understanding, that's it right now. But all 50 states, Canada, and Puerto Rico. But they're probably going to want to have some more, you know, proof. So I'm going to go into the Better Business Bureau and things like this. Yeah. At the end of the day, and, and there, there could be questions about. <clears throat> Hey, why does Monty maybe have not a better rating as ADS on the Better Business Bureau? But last time I checked, Monty has an A plus too. Um, but Monty used to be named Monotronics. Okay. Monotronics is the old name. Monty, that new logo, the new sign, everything yeah. was just released earlier at the beginning of this year. Yeah. So it's it's really awesome what they're doing. But if there's some kind of like deep, 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 deep question about like why is this, this, and this. The answer is that there were some bad dealers in the past, and this is like super deep information. There were some bad dealers in the past that may have gave Monty a, a not a, not as good of reviews on online things like this, and that's just happened. But what ADS has done is we've changed that. Okay. We've changed that with what we're doing, and then I'll go on into this. I'll tell them, look, Monty is going to give you a lot of different things whenever you become a customer of theirs or one of the advertising accounts and a few of those things would be the free move program to anywhere in the United States. Okay. So if you move anywhere in the United States, the company is going to move the system for you free of charge. I ran into a homeowner on Saturday, they moved up from Tampa and they've been with the company for like two years and I just wanted to ask them just to make sure, you know, hey listen, when y'all moved, they didn't charge you, did they? And they're like, nope, they didn't. So it's true. Like, And what the detail, what the actual... Um, real transparent answer is on that. You don't have to go into this, but just tell them there's a free move program. Okay. Um, and if they're really trying to get more information about it, the fine print is that it's gotta be outside of a year. Okay. <clears throat> Whenever ADS signs up a contract, three years or five years for money, then ADS has to watch the contract for the first year. Mm -hmm. All right, after the first year, money has taken over completely, we're not even in it anymore. Okay. So it's just a year thing for you guys. Right, so like, the deal is, also as a sales rep, if you sell a security system and you have what's called a chargeback, maybe you were funded a $700 commission, okay. and it's 11 months and 25 days. You could have a chargeback, that $700 commission, boom, becomes, you gotta pay it back. Which, if that happens, I, I have never had it happen with ADS, and I've been with the company since, um, May of 2016, but if that does happen, then you're you're gonna the next week coming out, you're just gonna replace it with another account. Okay. But if you don't have any sales coming in that week, then you're gonna have to pay it up the next week, or you're gonna owe the company. Gotcha. Okay. But it's it's one of those things where if you're not writing up bad credits, like um, C credits, which would be 600 to 624, B credit would be 625 to 699. 
a credit is what you're looking for because you pay, get paid way more money, and I'll break that down for you. Okay. Um, but if you're writing up good, clean A and B credits, the likelihood of you getting a, a, a chargeback is like slim to none. Okay. So don't really to just just know that that is something that could potentially happen, but it hasn't happened to me because I write you see I write all clean credits. Okay. I've wrote probably three C credits, but I'm charging a lot more money down down payment. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, but anyway, the free move program is something they're incentivized with. They also get the false alarm protection. So if the police roll out there and the alarm has went off for whatever reason, and it's you know the police have to come out there and it's not anything actually happening, then we'll reimburse fifty dollars for each false alarm. In Cumming, Georgia, it's two free false alarms. The third one's a hundred fifty dollar fine. Gotcha. So it works. Now it's different for each municipality. So it might be fifty, then one hundred thirty-five in Smyrna is the way it is, okay. or fifty. Yeah, something like that, 135, and then like over 200. It just depends on which one. They also get the extended service, which is a lifetime warranty on the system. So if anything breaks or malfunctions, we'll come out and fix it free of charge. Okay. They also get the theft coverage. So if someone breaks into the house while they're with our company, then they'll they'll have to pay an insurance deductible. Usually, it's going to be $500, but we'll reimburse the $500 of the paid insurance deductible, which is crazy, like good. These are a lot of things that some yeah. other companies. Um, may not offer i can't say they don't offer but to my understanding they don't offer okay most of them and then you get the homeowner's insurance discount savings you just want to tell them listen this is with any company just a heads up if you don't go with us you get you get a, a discount on your homeowner's insurance on average 20 percent discount nice so that's that's going to be something that's going to help you out if you're paying 1200 dollars per year yep. then you're saving about 240 dollars that's what it is now i'll say the reason we, we just want to we, we want to make sure you get a certificate in our welcome package within two weeks yep. to prove that you have active security system in the home to get the appropriate discount through your company. Nice. There you go. I go into the accolades and um, first one I highlight is that Monty, oops, Monty was ranked highest in customer satisfaction by J.D. Power and Associates in 2016 for home security systems. Awesome. That's a pretty big deal, right? Yeah. I don't even know much about J.D. Power and Associates. I just know they're a big well known. Well known. That's Very the, well. That's the big deal. Yeah, exactly. And to rank a, rank us number one, that kind of is building that, that credibility right there. Yeah. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just come out and I'll go to my my Safari. Okay. And I already have things in my bookmarks here for my presentation. Yeah. So I can just click right into this and it's going to take me straight over to, I'm now I'm really going to start building the massive value on the, on the company. Okay. So we got the A plus rating on the Better Business Bureau. What do you think about that when I tell you that? That I can trust it. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the big thing I think. Okay. I, I think, okay, well obviously it's a company I can trust. Okay, because some people, they, they, they're like, oh, well that don't mean anything. And I'll be like, yeah, you know, that's cool. But the A plus rating is great and everything, but the, the big thing I think is that it has a 94% positive rating. Right. There's, there's, the big thing that I really point out right here is there's only 21 total complaints nationally. Um, and then I'll go over here and I'll say if there is a complaint, the person responding to that is Curtis Kindred, the owner, the president of the company, and he's making some type of um, counter offer. The homeowner's making some kind of objection on there, and they either they either accept it or deny it. You know, and then he'll come back and make another counter offer, but like he's not going to allow that A plus rating to go down. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's not going to happen. It's just not possible. You know, with the the people they hire and also. I go harp on that, and sometimes if I have to, I'll get deeper into it. I'll hit the 21 total complaints, um, just kind of give a breakdown by resolution exactly what those complaints were for. And the main thing, out of those 21, there's 13 for problems with product or service. Okay. So what could that be? There's, there's quite a few things right here, you know, like a complaint. ADS continues to bill my account after I've received verification of cancellation from them. I'm having trouble canceling my service with ADS after moving a new home in August. I declined to remain with ADS because of the $75 disconnect fee and additional $75 reconnect fee, and there's a little bit more. And then the desired settlement, I'm seeking a full refund of $86 for my competent high-ranking employee to verify cancellation of my account from a competent. And then business response, ADS has researched the complaint and have found that the offer um, that we offered our moving fees properly and remove, and that we offered our moving fees properly, remove 
the equipment from the customer's home and reinstall to any home. We also acknowledge the cancellation on 815 after research and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one of those things where like if they're wrong, they're going to correct it. But if they're not wrong, they're not going to get like strong armed. They're not going to. You always go into this? No. Okay. No, I don't. Like very rarely, like they'll be like, oh, let me see what's, what's the complaints for. And then I will. I'll go into so it. So this is just in the event that they ask. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't go into that unless like I usually just go, yeah, it's A plus rating. We got 94% positive, 21 total complaints nationally. Curtis Kendrick is the one respond, responding. Got it. And then I'm going. That's what you always say. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then I double click and I go straight back over here and I say there's a bunch of other accolades too. Cool. And then these are some of the things that we can do inside of the house. Awesome. And I got the equipment right here. I'll show you in a second a little more clearly, but this is the Skybell doorbell camera. Okay. The Skybell doorbell camera. Let me click this way. The Skybell doorbell camera. Um, what I'll do is I'll go into this and since you have an iPad Pro, you can use this. You can actually download this. Most guys don't have the iPad Pro, so okay. they're using like plastic slicks and stuff. Right. But this is the alarm.com dealer uh, demo. Nice. So you go in, it's an interactive demo with an iPhone and then I'll just kind of go on down here. I'll say the Skybell, let me just show you an example of how this works. Now this is the previous Skybell, it's the hockey puck size. Yeah. But if someone walks up to the front door within eight feet, there's a motion detector right here. Or you can turn that off to where they have to push the button. Then you're going to get a text on alarm.com app and then a full color night vision, high definition camera with a digital microphone and speaker is going to pop up. So you can see and speak through to people from anywhere in the world. Nice. Also, if you have our door lock, which would be automated, you can unlock the door lock from the same portal as the Skybell. If you don't have the Skybell, then obviously you can go in here and you can just lock and unlock the door lock from anywhere in the world. This phone app is going to work. And then I'll start running through everything. Yeah. Bare minimum, you're going to be able to arm and disarm the security system from anywhere in the world. So whatever you have in the house, it's going to be, be able to arm and disarm from the, from the phone app if you have an iPhone or Android. If you have an iWatch, you can actually do it from your, there's an app that goes on the watch too. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go in and I'll start telling them. You can also do thermostats to where you can control the thermostat from anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. I'll tell them there's the, the uh, Universal Lift Master, the, the MyIQ that will connect up to Chamberlain Genie or to the uh, LiftMaster. And it's a device that's gonna allow you to open and close the garage for one with the phone app. But you can also turn on geofencing so it knows when you've left the house or came back within a certain radius. In this example, leaving, it's gonna arm the system in the away mode automatically. Mm -hmm. And then whatever you have in the house, it's gonna go ahead and set it up appropriately since you're in the away mode. That's an image sensor. It's gonna adjust the thermostat, energy efficiency, lock the doors, everything. It's really cool. Then I'll go into, so when I'm in alarm.com, I try not to pull out. I just try to rattle it off. And then I'll go into, I can do uh, light bulb modules, appliance modules, and we can do light switch modules as well. And I just kind of move on from that. Question. Yep. When you, uh, do you ever do this, what you're doing right now from outside of their door? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you, what, what, what would you say the percentage is like inside and outside when you do this presentation? with your probably like 20% on the door, maybe. So 20% outside the door, Yeah. on the door you say, okay. So, yeah. Okay, so usually you're doing it inside. Usually, yeah, Okay. maybe 10%. I try, I try to get in the door. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, if they're just a weird, I can, I can tell if they're just kind of weirded out and they don't want me in, yeah. and I understand, yeah. you know, because like they have 15 door-to-door -door guys knocking on the door probably a day. Yeah. Um, cause they're a new, new construction, uh -huh. you know, and then, and then to be honest with you, like, um, I'd be okay with somebody coming to my house, but like, I would not want my wife answering the door okay. probably ever. Me either. I mean, cause you don't know, it could be I someone. I my wife not to let anyone in the house yeah. while I'm gone. And that's why the sky bell is big because like you can see it, she can see it. She don't have to come to the door. Excuse me. Because it could be a clean cut dude like me and we're up in the house and then, you know, all of a sudden like it's, it's a murder. Yeah. Or right. I mean, you never know what could happen nowadays. So like, right. Anyway, you, I just yeah. was curious. Yeah. In the, what point of the sale you're doing this usually? Yeah. And that's what I, I want to get. Go for it. I try to get in the house, but one thing also, just on the light switch modules, I learned this the hard way because I sold these three Indian dudes up there in coming light switch modules. Okay. Okay. We can sell them the light switch modules or light switch dimmer modules or get them whatever they want, or they can just get them off of Amazon. But we do not install those. Okay. It was like 
so hard for me to learn this. <laughs> Okay. Now, the easiest thing to do is a light bulb module, change it, you can dim it up and down, turn it on off. Or an appliance module, plug it in, then plug in whatever device you want, dim it up and down, turn it on and off. Okay. That's your best bet. And I very, like, very rarely sell these, ever. Like, it's, it's hardly ever that I do that. And these are made by Mon? So, the equipment we use is Qualsys, and I'll, we just transitioned yeah. over to Qualsys, but we were using 2 gig, so it would be all Qualsys now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then this is a, this is an image sensor. This is a freestanding image sensor, yeah. and it would go up in replace of a motion detector. So it is a motion detector, but it also has an HD camera, so it's going to take burst photos if someone walks into that area and drop them straight down into your alarm.com app, you know, just for evidence. Plus, it'll nice. set the alarm off to where the monitoring company's going to be calling everybody that's on your account. Okay. So that's Skybell. Next up, we do have Arlo cameras. These are cool. You've heard of these, I'm sure. I have not. Arlo cameras, you can you can get these quite a few different places, Best Buy or online or Costco, mm -hmm. you know. And in some cases, I'll recommend they get them from Costco instead of getting them from us because, yeah. you know, if I'm slamming a monthly monitoring rate down lower, I'm not making a lot of money on the account. I can't afford to like give away cameras and stuff, you know what I mean? But I'll explain how to do all that stuff, you yeah. know, with the modifications of the monitoring rates. But Breakdown of Arlo cameras is the cool thing is that they're wire free. Okay. So they're not invasive. They're HD quality, nice. 720 resolution, weatherproof, night vision, motion alerts, free cloud storage. Nice. I just read right off of here. I say one camera has to be connected to one base station, which is connected to your router, but this can connect multi cameras up to the base station. Mm -hmm. And it comes with a separate app, so you would have the alarm.com app and the Arlo app, which I don't tell them that really unless they buy it you know and then if they freak out and they're like oh my god I cannot have two apps then I'll be like all right well your other option is that we can use the alarm.com cameras but they're gonna have a wire and we're gonna have to drill a hole into your sheetrock from or from the outside of your house to the inside of your house to access a power source with a wire and then that's how it's mounted up you know so these are indoor outdoor they're just a better yeah. better option this is the panel. This is the Qualsys IQ2, or sorry, the IQ1 panel. Okay. Um, actually, let me, I got this equipment here, so I might as well just kind of break, it, do it. break it out visually. There's two different panels that we have. We have access to 2 gig as well, but it's not worth it for you to use 2 gig because you're paying more money mm -hmm. and you're not getting the customer more value for the extra money that you're paying. Okay. Um, so there's two panels we use, and this is the IQ1 panel, this is the IQ2 panel. Yeah. Which one would you rather have? The two. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the most updated one, looks like. This one cost you $217. Okay. This one cost you $317. Yeah. So I'm trying to sell this one. Okay. In my presentation, if I go to IQ2, I'm telling them, you can have this, but it's going to be $200. Even though it's costing me a hundred extra, but it's going to give me the give me a place where I can kind of whittle down it's the price. And ultimately, if I have to, I'll go down, you know, completely. I'll yeah. pay for it completely. Okay. But um, the way it works is they're both going to have 4G LTE built-in Verizon cell chips. Okay. Um, both are seven-inch screens, I believe, right? Is that both seven inch? Uh, no. I think the IQ2 is a little bigger. IQ2 is a little taller. Yeah. Looks like an HD screen. Right. So I don't know the actual size of the screen. It says seven inch touch screen on this one. So yeah. but this one actually, the cool thing is you can like fire it up. And most sales reps don't have the equipment on them, just okay. so you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's just I'm a technician also. I trained myself to be a technician so I can get the same day installs for them. Right. But it's pretty cool when you can actually walk up with the equipment and show them something tangible. It is. I agree with that um, completely. Well, we could work that out if you want to do something like that. Okay. Um, you can always just like buy the equipment and just walk around with it. It's good for presentation purposes. Definitely. IQ One. This one's firing up, but IQ One. It's gonna. It's gonna have the. Uh, basically, most of the same thing that's going on here. Let me explain IQ One first. So, built-in 4G LTE cellular. Also has the option for Wi-Fi, so you can connect it to the homeowner's Wi-Fi. That's known as dual path connectivity. So it's given a quicker, faster response and call out. Yep. You know, whereas the 
equipment before 2 gig or other equipment in the industry is either running over just 3G mm -hmm. or just Wi-Fi, which is risky, just Wi-Fi, because the Wi-Fi goes down, the system goes down. Okay. Or the older school systems, which I don't do a lot of takeover pitches, which means older developed neighborhoods where you're going in and they're been with ADT for 15 years and they got a old janky panel up on the wall and you just go in and like they're paying $50 a month for an old janky crappy system connected to their home phone line that can be clipped and deactivated. It's really easy to go in and get those accounts actually. So you're just like, here, I'm gonna go ahead and set you up with the state of the art security system. We're, we're doing these flip outs of the security systems. We're doing the advertising accounts with us and we're gonna bribe you with some new equipment so we can get that sign in your front yard. Yes. But IQ1, um, also has a built-in image sensor, so this has a panel camera, and it's not an image sensor where that, to my understanding, this one, and I've researched this because I asked the owner and everybody else, but the image sensor in this is just for a panel camera, so whenever your wife comes in and she disarms it, it's gonna take a picture and send it to your alarm by comm app. Because okay. I thought it meant that if someone walked by it, then it's gonna set the alarm off. Oh, that's not true. Unless they they're doing they might be doing a software update, but the the, the goal is they're going to phase this out by the end of the year, yeah. and it's just going to be this one, okay. which is so much better. Yeah, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, but this one has an Android operating system. They both have Android operating system. Yeah, I told that I could tell that when I was the initializer. Really? Okay, cool. Yeah, the little icon. You can tell. Um, but they're both Android operating system. Let me turn this brightness. And um, this and they're they're both going to have an SD card slot. They're both similar. It's just this one looks better. SD card slot means that you can go in and change these here. Would be your and the IQ one does the same thing, but it's it's going to have the pictures on here. Nice. So that when it times out, it's going to not look like you know just a security system. Right. Um, That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But you have a SD card slot. Somewhere on this guy, right here on the side. And then um, this one's on this side. Okay. So they can put their family pictures in there and customize it is what I'm getting at. Yep. All right, and then, I actually am gonna probably stop selling this one a lot, but um, like I said, it's a difference in $100. So I try to, if they're not open to putting some money down on this, I'm probably not doing it. Okay. Um, but they also have the, own, the video tutorials. This one won't fire up with it will I think if I plug in the battery this one comes with the battery not plugged in in the box this one comes with the battery plugged in so that's why I'm not disassembling this one okay but um how does this it, charge? it has the way it charges is it's going to be plugged up to AC at some point so when you actually install it you got the positive and you have the uh the negative so here. this one um also is awesome because if it's a brand new house where they don't have any security equipment, then you're gonna have this AC adapter that comes with it. And I take everything out of the box because I carry equipment in my car and the boxes are big, so I have stacks of security panels so that I can consolidate. Yeah. But um, this, this is simple. You just like plug this into here. Yep. And then you take these positive and negatives and plug them yep. into here and plug the guy in. Okay. Um, or so, where is this plugging? In? This is going to be visible. This wire. The wire, yeah. Well, you can either. So there's. This is when you come into more of the detail, deep details of how this works. But if it's one of those new build constructions and you see the blank out the cover on the wall. You, you, you're in the house and you want to go and say, Let, let's just take a look at the blank outlet cover real quick. Um, and then you go over there, it might say Phoenix, it might be blank or whatever. But have you noticed a white metal box in a closet somewhere or a beige box or in, in the basement? They're like, yeah, it's in the closet right here. Okay. Cool. So I'll go in there and now that I'm in, is it recording? It is. Cool. It's just coming on. All right, go. And then now that um, <clears throat> I'm in the closet, I'm looking in there. I'm seeing the white metal box. I open this up. There's usually a key and I open it because they don't take the key out. And I go in there and then I notice there's a bundle of wire with these plastic strap ties. And I'll show them. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the looking for a circuit chip. I'm looking for a battery. Um, maybe I'm looking for another one of these that's actually plugged in. Yeah. 
and um, usually it's a bundle of wire yeah. connected to connected to nothing. So I'll tell them, look, this is this is what would happen. This is what I was looking for. This panel, we're going to connect it up to the pre-existing wire yeah. that's out there. Now, more like super deep information is that we, we can't connect it to to um, Cat Five. I encountered this last week. I did six cells and six installs, which mm -hmm. is crazy. Yeah. And um, the neighborhood had co uh, Cat Five, so I was wondering, like, why in the heck, when I put the panel up, does it keep on powering down and the battery to drain? So the deal is that it doesn't have enough. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Whenever you're not getting enough power coming through on the wires. Power re continuity. Okay. Is that right? So like the wires are too thin mm -hmm. through cat five or not, or there's not enough. So I had to take, I tried it with one, then I had to do two, then I put four in, then it works. But that usually don't happen. Usually it's just the white wire with like a black and white and a blue and yellow or something. You just take two of the wires, yeah. right? And do you plug them in? The positive and negative would go positives here, negatives here. Yeah. If that's the case. Right. Um, and then instead of using this, you would have wire that the company gives you. And then, um, I'm sorry, you would just use the wire in the wall, put the positive and negative up, and then you mount the mounting bracket and all that stuff. From the Cat 5. Now, if it's Cat 5, you can use that, but you gotta like quadruple it up okay. on the positive and then quadruple it up on the negative and like twist it tight, you know? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's just super, it's kind of complicated. It took me a while to learn this. Okay. Now, that's probably not gonna happen. It's probably gonna be like one of those two or four wires. Mm -hmm. So you just pick the black and red and you just put the positive negative. Yeah. Just make sure you're putting the positive negative on the other side of this. Yeah. So that goes up on the wall. And then in the metal box is where you're gonna go and that's splice right. off and put this in and then plug it in. Yeah. Usually in the metal box, there's, a, there's an outlet, but if there's not, you're gonna have to run it like down the wall yeah. um, and then just make it look clean or something. The other thing that could happen is that maybe they had no pre-wiring at all. Yeah. So you got to go in there, agree to where a good spot is, you know, say the outlet's right here, you just tell them, look, all we're going to do is we're just going to pop a hole in the sheetrock right here, we're going to drop the power cord down through there, and then we're going to have access to the power source there. And what's going to happen is it's, this is going to be coming out of the, the wall, but right. it's not, there's not, it's going to be very clean. Like this goes in, 3M double-sided sticky tape to hold right. it in. And then um, this this part goes in like this, okay. and then we take, and you just tell them, listen, I went ahead and you're probably not going to be doing installs. But I took this little plastic. I'm probably be doing installs. Maybe yeah, probably okay. Well, cool. there's no doubt about it. Okay, cool, cool. So this is really good for you. So this little plastic tie, I just take it and put it around here so their kids can't get it out, okay. and shock yourself or like mess the security system up. Yeah. So that's gonna it's gonna be very clean in the wall. Okay. Um, and then you just simply put the positive and negative here in the back. Yeah. But this, this, this one also, I didn't bring it in with me, but it has the option to where you can put a table stand right here. So you can just, instead of having to, yeah. the most complicated thing sometimes is popping the hole in the wall. Gotcha. Because you have to have a stud finder. Yeah. And like I had one technician, you know, I was watching different technicians trying to learn how to do this. And um, I was trying to give this new technician a chance so I could get more availability. And um, he came in and he popped a hole in the wall in there next to the garage, popped a hole in the wall and hit a crossbeam. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he'd been doing this for years and I was like, that's kind of a rookie mistake, bro. Yeah. You know, what I would have personally did was, before I popped a hole in the wall, is I would have bought a stud finder, mm -hmm. which I did, it was like 50 bucks at Home Depot, it was really right. nice. I had two. You, you got two? So you go this way, you know, find out there's not going, one going this way, and then you also go this way, and then maybe you're getting a weird beep or something, but you know that you're gonna shoot the wire down here to the outlet, so I bought what's called a glow rod, mm -hmm. a glow rod. So it's fiberglass pieces that you can piece together longer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've got two sets of those. Right, okay, cool. And then I'll just- Just pull. so you know, I've done residential AV installs. I know, I looked at your website. Six, okay, you did, okay. Yeah, okay. I looked at it, it's, it's legit. So you would just take the outlet cover off and then if you can't get the glow rod in there, you take a multi-tool or something to saw, and just cut out a little bit so you can push it up in there and make sure that you're getting clearance. Okay. You know, and then, you know what I mean? And then, um, this is gonna be good for my other dudes that are watching too that are trying to install and sell, so that'll be helpful to them. Okay. But once once you find out there's a clear solid path up, then you're just 
I got, I have a, a Leatherman. I just go in with my little saw and like boom and sh twist it. And I got a hole about like that. Sometimes you might have to cut a little bit bigger. And then from there, I'm gonna push it down in there. You know, I'm gonna loop the wire around. You've done it before. Loop the wire around and then I'm gonna put the black electrical tape in there and then I'm gonna bend over the end and put some more tape on it so it don't pull out. And then I'm gonna have my rod down here and I'm gonna put this wire in here and then I'm gonna go fishing. Yep. And then sometimes it takes, sometimes it's taken like 30 minutes and I'm like, oh my God, this is like, I'm not gonna be able to do it. But I'm getting better at it now to where I can, I can hook it quicker. Mm -hmm. And um, once I get it, I'll kind of scream and the homeowner will be like, I'll be like yes. <laughs> They're screaming with me. They're like, yes. <laughs> and then, cause you know, once you get it up in there and, um, and then <laughs> I've had it happen to where I've got the wire pulled up in here. And then like, I turn my back and this is a rookie mistake and then the wire falls like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, 30 minutes. But I figured it out, I get it this time in one minute. Right. So, that's how you put the panel up. Um, and there's, there's YouTube videos on this, which okay. makes it very easy. I mean, it, it, it's not just this panel, it's just any panel, they're pretty much the same thing. There's four screws, you just find out the best place to, you might have to put the screw here, you might have to put it through here, whatever. These are kind of complicated actually to take apart. Um, not so much take apart, but to put back together. Tamper. And it's got a panel tamper. tamper thing, but the thing about it is is that up here at the top, it's a little complicated. When you're putting the mount, mount, mounting bracket on here, you have to, because I noticed one of my texts, it was always, my text, it was always separated. You have to put it back in like this. Yeah. And, and push down and see how it's kind of hard to do. It's really kind of difficult. They, I think they should maybe do the design a little bit better on this. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you got to get that back on there somehow. Um, hopefully the homeowner's not like, what's this guy doing? Right. I'm breaking stuff out of his ball. <laughs> but it's, it's really, you got to get it in there good for it to connect up. See, it's, see how difficult it is? Yes. I need to talk to them about a better way to do this. It's worked out. It's easier to do on the wall. But nonetheless, because you can push on it. Yeah. Because it's already on, on the wall. You're doing it free right now. Yeah, just a heads up. Like this, because I noticed my technicians, they were having issues doing this too. Okay. So anyway, that's the panel. Um, this panel, let's get to this one here, man. It's, it's, it's so dope. So this one has arm and disarm photos also, but last week they released, they released a uh, software update where this is an actual video camera. This is big because like, this is not just a panel camera, but it's a panel video camera. Yeah. So it, it actually activate in the case of an alarm and a break in. Okay. So somebody walks by it, it records these beautiful clear HD videos yep. and it's for up to four minutes. Okay. That's big, like that's a big deal because instead of you having to buy a camera, like an Arlo camera would cost you 135 for the camera, $85 for the base station. Mm -hmm and then the base station you can add on more cameras. Or um, an indoor video camera for alarm.com is like 130, you know, whereas this one's already got a built-in camera. Mm -hmm. So that's, when you're, when you're building value compared to this one to this one, it's like this is $200 extra because this is a video camera. Yeah. Now, you know, that's good. But this one, um, it's gonna have the uh, built-in 4G LTE as well. It's gonna have the dual path connectivity. But it also has a place where you can do um, some programming inside the settings where you can activate the built-in built glass break. Okay. And the built-in glass break you can do um, like a clap test actually. So inside of this you just you know go into settings. User I've already program I programmed this at my house because I learned the hard way the other night that the software update that they just released, man, it takes a long time. Gotcha. Like it took like 30 minutes at least. So I'm sitting there drinking a beer with the homeowner and watching TV and hanging out. <laughs> but um, upgrade software and all that stuff's gonna be in here. But you would go inside of installation and you would hit for devices, security sensors. Actually, I'm still learning this. You would go into system test. Okay, I actually can't do it. I'm running on battery, so I can't do certain things. Mm -hmm. Anyway, in order to make sure the glass break is working and to verify the signal, you have to do a clap test, and yeah. it's gonna turn solid green circle. Pretty yeah. cool. Okay. Um, 
but this one it's also going to have bluetooth disarming so you can connect your phone to it and yeah. up to five cell phones for the homeowners okay so when they walk in it's going to automatically disarm the security system okay it's pretty cool that is cool instead of just going up and putting the four digit password in it's android 5 plus operating system five so the other one doesn't do that the one nope it doesn't do bluetooth mm -hmm. okay just curious no bluetooth no um, glass break and no and video camera no video camera and and i mean the the image center it's not like that great quality as this one this one's like so so legit right but they're both going to have the weather channel app on here weather channel updates okay. and that would when you click this it would go into a screen that tells you the forecast nice these both have the s-line encrypted sensors these are sensors and dude like obviously i'm so far off my door to door presentation now <laughs> Oh, I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going into the equipment right now. I got you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. Um, oh. This is this is a it's called it's called a DW or door window sensor. Okay. Yeah. These are S line encrypted, and to be honest with you, I should probably know more in depth exactly what that means. It just came out. Yeah, okay. it just means it's encrypted. S line is something that you have to research. Yeah, okay. you probably will figure it out quite fa faster than I will. But I like to do visual, I'm a visual guy. So when I'm installing these, I'm basically taking this out, throwing that away, I'm throwing this little pack of screws away, I'm opening this and I'm taking this 3M double sided sticky tape and I'm connect, going ahead, like I'm laying this out on the table, three door contacts. Usually in every package, I'm gonna give them for free. Okay. Three door contacts, one motion detector, one panel okay. for free, okay. boom. Um, and then, sign them up on whichever package we decide on. Yeah. But in order to activate this, um, I have it sitting down on the table where I got the arrow here and I got the other arrow here. All right, and then I go ahead and I put these on and then I actually go ahead and undo this. That way I got everything lined up, boom, ready to program and try not to put my fingers on it to get it sticky. And then when I'm gonna learn this into the panel, then I'm just gonna pull these out and then do like that and it'll automatically learn into the panel is yeah. how it works okay pretty simple. after you just pull the tabs out it yeah automatically senses it exactly and cool. then the battery is activated so yeah that's door contacts and then this is the motion detector i'll go ahead and um in the back of this there's a there's a little plastic thing right here you pull yeah. that out and then it's going to turn red um, the light up here yep. and then I'll put this back on and then I usually it's like one or two of those if it's a basement I'll go ahead and I'll just build value I'll say listen we give away three doors in a motion for free um, that downstairs basement door that'd be $99 for the door and then um, if you want to have a motion detector or glass break those are 150 a piece okay. you know and then obviously I'm gonna give it to them for free if they're freaking out okay but um, these motion detectors cost you $45. Okay. Because they're probably going to freak out. $150 for motion. This, is, this costs you $45. So if you sell it for $150, you get the difference. Yeah. This contact, door contact, which are also window contacts, they cost you $19. Okay. $99. Mm -hmm. um, or per door. And window yeah. I'll, I'll build it like that, but I'll strip it on down, you know? Yeah. I'm with you. I'll go on down and be like, listen, we'll do, go ahead and give you this for you know 50 bucks. Okay. Or we'll give you this right here for 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. Or we'll give you this for 25 bucks. Or 50 bucks. Or free, free, free. You want 10 of them? Okay. <laughs> if I'm making commission, you can have them. Right. But I'll, I'll give it, you know, whatever I gotta do to make it happen. I'm with you. Yeah. Whenever I'm programming the motion into the panel, because it's gonna, it's gonna go, like you do that one, it's gonna say ding, ding, ding. Contact out it successfully, and then it's gonna automatically be ready for the next one. Then I'll come pick up the motion, just go, and then it automatically senses motion, then it did a ding, and then you do it, you go in there and program it, and then this is so simple because it already registers everything you need. You just gotta switch it to say motion, and then you gotta put like upstairs motion or downstairs motion next. Yeah. It's so easy, man. I'm with you. But the thing is, like I said, man, with, with these right here, you wanna you wanna have one of these already connected up at the house. So you can just plug that into the back of that bad boy, mm -hmm. and then you want to connect that to your Wi-Fi software update mm -hmm. and let it run its course. 
and then you have to press one more button for it to complete it, and then you're in there. That way, when you get to the house, it's like, boom. Yeah. Literally, like, the installs, if you do that, when you get in the house, it should take you about 30 minutes. Right. Where it's taken me about two hours. Yeah. You know, because of the software update. So that's that's the equipment pretty much um, in depth. I mean, that's the sky bell right there, but you got the idea. Yeah. I'm gonna show you what it looks like at least. Let's see, you get a visual. While I'm walking up in the house, I got this on too. Like I carry my little screwdriver, so if I need to do something. Okay. Um, if I do, if I go up to a house and nobody's there and it's like a new build, even an old build, create, we created these, we created these. So it's got, um, I think it's pretty good for marketing because it says, sorry, we missed you. And it looks like a FedEx type message right. or UPS. Yeah. And then it's talking about a free camera, you know, everything saying ADS was in your area today, performing service and keypad upgrades to your neighbor's security alarm and camera systems. You know, and then we offer wireless upgrade for free. It's got my Google voice number. Wireless upgrade for free? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, wireless upgrade for free. So if you're, like in an older developed neighborhood where it's ADT or something like that, they're probably running over a hardwired system. Right. So I'll tell yeah. them, you know, we're going to come in and we'll, we'll actually, we do a wireless upgrade for free. We'll give them the equipment for free. You know, we're going to give them the installation for free. Um, the uh, activation, I do, I do try to go in and sell them. I usually push 199 activation at least. Because that extra 199 goes in your pocket. Yeah. Or you can bring it to 150, or you can bring it to 99, or 50, or 10, or whatever you want to do. Yeah. But I go in at 199 because I'm incentivized by the company, and you would be too as well, to where you would make the $200 is going to go in your pocket to yeah. pay off equipment, whatever it may be. And then also they're going to give you one extra multiple, and I'll explain what a multiple is because yeah. you're going to need that's going to be you know the thing is learning how multiples work. Most guys come into the industry and they're paid. On points whereas to make real money in the industry you got to get, get on the multiple schedule and most guys don't know about this for like three four years they're selling and they're making two three hundred dollars to sell and then like the fog is lifted from their eyes and they're like dude these guys are making like eight nine hundred thousand plus dollars a sell because they're on a multiple schedule or multiple plans what it is anyway I got these okay um, so that's panels let me power this guy down so Massive energy. Are there other companies? User code. What do you mean? Uh, are there other companies that are um, selling mommy systems other than ADS? Yeah, there's there's other dealers out there. Like in this area? Um, yeah, I mean, it, there are. I mean, because I worked with a dealer. I worked with a sub sub dealer because. So it's mommy then ADS. I would be a sub dealer essentially. They yeah. call me a dealer because sub sub dealer just sounds kind of lowly okay. or yeah. underneath you. Right. But um, I'm a dealer for ADS, and ADS is the top dealer for money. Right. I was with another company called Alliance Security, and they're they're actually they actually do the most sales by um, for money, but they've been around a little bit longer. And they are huge on telemarketing. And they actually were sued for millions, you know, for robocalling, you know, do not call this, things like that. <clears throat> and nothing wrong, the company is awesome. They actually use 2GIG, it's a very similar type situation. Um, but I was working through Alliance and then I was actually um, working underneath a guy that was really like snaky and it was like the worst possible situation that you could ever ever encounter in the home security industry mm. like the worst person to work with crook you know former yeah. hell's angel all this stuff but anyway okay so he would be a sub dealer for alliance and then i was a sub sub dealer so but there's there's a lot of different dealers out there it just depends on gotcha. you know. but there's other companies that may um, offer similar products and stuff like that like there's a diy company that offers the iq iq1 panel called front point okay they do DIY systems. They'll mail you a package and your monthly monitoring rates, 45, 50, 55 a month. It just depends. Gotcha. Anyway, so that's it. Then I'm gonna go into this right here. This is the prices I'm gonna hit them with. Right. And I made this because I didn't wanna, give me a wait. So I need to probably turn this on airplane. 
No, that's what, I mean, I don't know if it'll actually record if you have it on airplane. It won't. Because it's not, it doesn't have to be connected to the internet to record. Come on, man. There we go. This one I made, but they, uh, I sent it over to Johnny and he, he tweaked it as well so it kind of pops a little bit better. And, you know, it's more understandable for the homeowner. Yeah. So the way it works out is the, the first one, the first package is going to be $49.99 per month. Okay. And it's going to be $199 activation fee. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell them, you've got four packages there. You see it's $199 activation fee across the board. That's for the Verizon, tell them it's for the Verizon 4G LTE cell chip or something like that. Or whatever. I don't need to tell them what the specific details are for. It's to help me pay off the equipment that I'm giving to you. Uh -huh. It's to help me to pay off the $150 install fee of the technician. You know, <laughs> there's there's a lot of things that it could be used to pay off, but I'm just saying it's a $199 activation fee. Yeah. And then... $49.99 per month on the first one. You're going to get the uh, cellular connection over 4G LTE. You're going to get the alarm.com app. I have to modify that actually. The two-way voice is not on there, so I have to I have to correct that to say just cellular alarm.com app. Um, okay. And then the yeah. And then I'll say what you're going to get in that package is you're going to get the Qualsys. What is two-way voice? Two-way voice. We were using that with two gig, and you'll be it'll be available for the for the um, IQ two panel. But two-way voice is a big selling point because it's another added value to where like if somebody breaks the door open and the alarm goes off, then we're going to come over the panel with a live operator and ask for the verbal password on the account. Okay. And then it's also good for, we were just talking about this last night with my girlfriend's grandma, but if someone breaks in the house, I'm sorry, if you have an elderly person, we also have a panic pendant, which would cost you $18 and it's for the wrist or for a necklace. And it's... It acts as, as a life alert, but way better because you have the security system, which, you know, bare minimum is going to cost the homeowner $34.99 per month, all the way up to $69.99 as our price brackets. But, you know, if you got like some old lady, you know, you're, you're, she's not going to pay any more than $35, $40 a month and you can put her on that $40 plan or whatever. But she say, listen, we're going to go ahead and include the life alert or the panic pendant for you yeah. at no charge. Or I'll sell it to them. I'll say this is just ninety-nine dollar one-time fee for the panic pendant. Okay. That's connected in, so they press the red button, and it's going to the panel's going to activate, and then the operator's going to come over to a voice. Okay. So it, it can act as the verification, and the, the big selling pitch on this also is that two-way voice is known as enhanced call verification. So whenever the monitoring company calls into local dispatch, they're going to tell them, "Hey, it's been verified two-way voice." Okay. That way, the police department they're going to there's been riots about this, about how they'll they'll identify that as, um, you know, a home invasion. It's been verified with, with someone in the house, and um, the police will come out with a thicker, a, a quicker and faster response time. Okay. Now there's there's laws like House Bill 687 where I used to use it as a sales pitch. You know, House Bill 687. They're they're passing this right now, to where that the the police department will not identify it as. Um, a home invasion and they can come out here you know as quick as they want to but when it is verified over two-way voice it's a quicker faster response time i pulled back off of that now because we're not even we're not using two-way voice right now because we just started using qualsys about two months ago yes and the software updates have not been released yet for the two-way voice yeah. or maybe it's just with the verizon 4g lte chip i need to ask more questions about that but we'll get down to that but I it will you. be a big selling point at some point but the first one is $49.99, $199 activation fee. You're going to get the Qualsys IQ1 panel, three wireless door contacts, one motion detector, yep. or your choice of a glass break detector. Okay. And I used to be big on selling glass breaks over motions, but the thing is these, I, these kits, whether it's the IQ1 kit, it's a kit that comes with a panel, three door contacts, and a motion. Hmm. Or the IQ2, same thing. So you have to get the kits, um, and then you have to also buy separately the glass break detectors. Gotcha. So it's just easier for me to just go up to the distribution center in Doraville. It's called Triad. It's where you go pick up equipment okay. and just get the kits, you know, whatever. Is that the only one? Yep. It is. It is. For sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yep. But it's, it's actually a blessing that it is pretty close to you because there's some reps that we've, 
brought on like up in Spokane, Washington, and the closest one is over four and a half hours away it's in Seattle. Oh. So you have to mail the equipment to them from that distribution center, which is two, okay. three business days, but still we have a convenience. Like I can go to try it, I can text Caleb right now, the owner's brother, and say, hey, listen, I need this, 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 go pick it up. You know, and if, if it's later in the day and like I can't, you know, get out there before 5.30 they close, mm -hmm. then I'll, I'll just call up to try it and I'll say, hey, can you put everything in the padlock room? Mm -hmm. And there's a little code you can go and there's locker boxes you pick up your equipment after hours. Cool. It's pretty cool. But anyway, so first package, $49.99, $199 activation, three doors, motion, IQ1 panel. And you're going to get all the stuff that I mentioned. You're going to get the lifetime warranty, free move program, everything. The next package, you can see the difference is it goes up $10 per month. Yeah. Same $199 activation fee. But you're going to get your choice of one standard add-on in the package. Mm -hmm. And these add-ons are listed at the bottom. You can have any of those for free. Okay. You know, the Sky Bell, if you want the Sky Bell right there, I'll tell them, look, you can get the Sky Bell. Um, I'm going to change that to the Slim Line. This is the Slim Line. That's the round version. Okay. But I'm going to tell them, look, the slim line, you can go on Amazon Prime and get it for $220 to $250 outright. Um, 220 and then you have to pay $24.95 for a four-year extended warranty through Amazon. So it's around $250 as well, dude. So I'm telling them that because I'm going to come back with another option for them here in, here in a second. The next option, you go to $64.99. That's $5 more per month. You get two of the add-ons for free. The next one is $69.99. You get three of the add-ons for free. Okay. So you can have the sky bell, the door lock, and the thermostat if you'd like. All right. And then 199 activation fee. You're still going to make some good bank on that. Mm -hmm. The equipment on the bottom, the Arlo camera, is 135 for the camera, is what it costs you plus the 85 for the base station, right? So 220. The sky bell is going to cost you 135. That indoor, it's called a HD 100 camera, mm -hmm. made by. Um, 2 gig integrated to alarm.com is going to cost you 130. Image sensor that's going to cost you 120. The lamp module is going to cost you 45. So you're getting down if they go in that 59.99 one. Yeah. I got. I probably need to change that a little bit. Maybe I'll give them like two two of them in that in that one. The universal liftmaster is 115 or 120, I believe. Okay. Thermostat, I think that's the same price. The quick set door lock that's going to be 190. Or we have a yell door lock, but I always just sell the quick set. So I'll tell them, maybe I'll, then I'll go and I'll be like, so let me ask you a question. What do you like best about what I'm saying here? And then they'll be like, you know, I really like how that you can see people in the front doorbell camera. Um, I also like how I can use the phone app. Um, I really like, I really like that IQ2 panel a lot more. Um, and then I'll be like, what do you not like? I'm like, well, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money down right there, 200 down, or they'll tell me, whatever it is. But in the first example, I'll be like, that's cool. So if you wanted the Skybell doorbell camera, you know, you'd be right there in the 59.99 with the 199 activation or whatever. Let me ask you a really transparent question because you mentioned the, the activation fee. Um, so it's, it's like getting the phone activated. It's a light credit check. What, um, what do you think your credit score is? Is it over 700? They'll be like, oh heck yeah, it's like 1,080. <laughs> okay. No, but um, they'll be like, yeah, it's like 790 or something like that. Okay, perfect. So if you, if you guys have a 790 credit score, I can actually adjust things a little bit because as soon as it goes down under 700, then there's a lot of money that we lose. Um, so what I can do for you is I'll maybe, I don't really do this. I, this is like for a new sales rep. Let me, let me make a quick phone call real quick and see if we can work something out a little bit better for you. And then I'll step away and I'll call my girlfriend, Ashley. But hey, um, can we, she'll be like, yes, yes, how's it going, Mr. Parks? Like, yeah, can we, is there, um, this homeowner, you know, it's a really good location. They have good visibility here on this cross street. There's a T-bone intersection. They're kind of like hearing what I'm saying. Um, I think it'd be a really good place for us to get a sign up, you know, in the front yard because, you know, Betty Jean Pilcher just moved in across the street over here and I hadn't really got them closed out. But if we get the sign right here, I'm sure I could probably get two or three more accounts in this vicinity. Mm -hmm. um, can we do something with that activation fee? Mm -hmm. Where's their credit? I like, like, oh, their credit's, um, it's, it, they're saying it's over 700, so they're checking out there. Cool. Then, um, like, oh, oh, okay. oh, cool. 
So we can do um, $99 on the activation fee. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much. And I'll hang up. You know, so now about, listen, what we can do is we'll go ahead and we'll drop that activation fee down to $99. They'll be like, okay, cool, awesome. Or they'll be like, nah. And they'll be like, let me just go ahead and drop it completely. Whatever you got to do. You know, so I'll strip it down, $59.99, zero down. Okay. And I'll tell them, I'll give you that sky bell right there for, for free, and I'll waive the activation completely. So you're getting down like a fat cat because you know that sky bell would cost you $220, $250 on Amazon Prime. Or... I'll tell them, listen, the $59.99 and the $199 activation fee, let's just go ahead and do this. You can, um, you can go ahead and just pay for the Sky Bell outright, which would, which would cost you $250. It's going to be $250 for you to pay for the Sky Bell, and it costs you $135, right? So $250, and, and we'll, we'll go ahead and um, take your monthly monitoring rate, and we'll drop it down to $54.99 per month, and then we'll just drop the activation down to $99. There's so many things you can do. I know yeah. it's like no, brain over them. Because every time you drop the price down $5, the math would be you lose $175 on your commission. Okay. In the, in, the, in, the, in the price structure. I've already done the math on this. Yeah. So calculated it out, you'd lose $175. So if you, if you kept it at you know, $199 activation and just went down to $54.99, just know you're losing $175 off your commission. If you drop it down to forty nine ninety nine and you keep it at one ninety nine activation with the sky bell, you're losing one seventy five times two, right? So, okay. just be aware of that. I mean, you you could drop it all the way down. Used to you could only drop it down to forty five ninety nine on video surveillance. Now you can drop it all the way down to like thirty four ninety nine per month. Okay, is what you can do. So. That's, that's something you can do, but you want to, like I gave this lady an option yesterday and I finally just told her, hey, listen, I find too much value in my company. I'm not, you know, you know honestly, I'm going to move on from this. And because she was saying, yeah, I want to talk to another sales rep. I'm like, to be honest with you, it's, it's, it's here now kind of, kind of thing going on. Because I gave her $34.99, $199 activation, IQ2 panel, three doors motion with the sky bell. She said she's a credit. That's killer deal. I wouldn't have made much because I was going to install it and keep the 150 on the install fee. But um, sometimes you just got to walk away. Because I even told her like one free month too. I'd pay for one free month also. But you were trying everything. Yeah, I was trying to get it. And there was another lady I told her I'd give her four free months at 34.99 with the IQ one panel, three doors in the motion, zero down, pay yeah. less credit. But yeah, so there's just different things that you're going to learn. Um, Objections. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me turn this recording off and then I'll, I'll explain the structure okay. to you. Sounds good.